Hello, hello. I'm curious, did you guys miss me? You have not seen my face in quite a while in the lives and you definitely haven't seen our face out in the field because it is just, we have not been in the field. So this is our first Friday field update. It's a little prelude to kind of what we do throughout the season. I am out in the greenhouse today, kind of just checking up on it, things, um, seeing where we're at. Uh, we are under 30 days from planting. How wild is that? I don't feel like we ever really slowed down this winter, uh, which is definitely a blessing and a good problem to have. So, hello Kelsey, hello Alan. So to kind of show you where we're at in the greenhouse, we have got all our drip lines out. And so those will be ready for pots and then the, we'll start them in one gallon pots and then we'll move them up to 10 gallon pots. Um, we do have some fixes to make on the greenhouse before we get everything in. Um, that last big wind storm that we had, what was it, a week ago? Um, just pretty much ripped off one of the ends of our walls. How it works is, um, ooh, it's colder outside. They kind of go into this and then get screwed down. And so as you can see, this just kind of got pulled out and then ripped up and broke. So that's on the to-do list to get that fixed. Um, we are pulling our plants from Kansas this year, the CBD plants. In the past, we went and picked them up from a company out of Tennessee because they we're the ones that worked with our extractors and as we always preach, you know, have an idea for your end results. And those were the plants that our extractor requested. Um, we're doing something different this year, so we don't need to go to Tennessee. So we are going to have Kansas based CBD plants. We are going to significantly reduce the number of CBD plants. Um, one, because we're getting better at growing them so we can get more biomass from less fewer plants, which is more cost effective for us. Um, we also, you know, you just have to run the numbers and you have to make it make sense. So that's, that's kind of why we're doing fewer plants here. Let's see. Let me think. The outdoor grow is still definitely not ready to go, but Hey, we got a few more weeks. I had potato trials come in lot the, this week so I'm busy prepping the ground for potatoes and I'm going to get them th those in this weekend um we have quite the array of vegetables this year that will be alongside of our hemp as always we have our bees out there um we did have a couple colonies collapse throughout the winter and then that last cold snap really got to them so we only have one colony left but thankfully we've got and we know a bee guy that's going to get some more bees out there for us. Um, let's see, two more, three more things. Seed is all packaged and ready to go. So everybody that's growing for us, they will go out to the processing facility and be picking up seed this next week. So that's really exciting. I'll take you guys along for that. Um, hemp herd, we're also selling that. Um, that's starting to move. So that's really exciting. Aaron was out in Colorado yesterday to pick up that herd, um, and he got to see our decortication system. It's, it's running out there, so that's, that's kind of nice to get the bugs worked out and get everything taken care of with the engineers and, and everything out there. So if there is a problem, if there is a modification, they can fix that on the spot, and they're not going to have to drive to Kansas to do that. So we are... I know I keep saying this. We are on the home stretch. Um, it's, you know, it is what it is. It's, you want it to work. You want it to, you know, work well. And so we're willing to be patient. Um, and thankfully, we have, you know, several thousand pounds of herd that our machine has produced from out in Colorado to get us through until the machine is actually producing here in Kansas. So we're still able to move product, and, and that's really good as well. Um two things left. We will be at Dilly and Doc tomorrow. So if you want to come by and talk about CBD, salves, oils, coffees, honey, bath bombs, hemp hearts, we will be at Dilly and Doc in Great Bend. It is from 10 to 4. So we will be there. Bring all your questions. Bring your smiling faces. Come see me. 
And lastly, this doesn't really have as much to do with hemp, but it's something, you know, we are all about advocacy, you know, ag, um, advocacy for agriculture. And right now, Colorado is having, uh, March 20th is called Meat Out Day. Um, PETA actually organized this event and the governor of Colorado supported it. And so they for they were promoting that for March 20th, nobody should eat meat and, and because that is a healthier way of living. I can tell you from a nutrition standpoint, it's not. Um, you know, whether you choose to be a vegetarian, or, you know, vegan, whatever makes you happy, um, that's great. But you can't... Um, you can't just cut off the agricultural industry like that um, in terms of, um, you know, animals because you, there's so many byproducts of what these animals produce. Um, there's also bills being um, pushed to legislatures in Colorado at this time. And the reason that you have to pay attention is because it will eventually affect all of us. You know, Colorado's beef industry is a seven billion dollar industry so it could have a trickle effect and so i encourage you to really stay up to date on um, current events in the agricultural industry as always always i will do my best but um one of the things that nebraska and montana and kansas kansas farm bureau has really pushed this tomorrow is meat in day so or meat on the menu so if you can snap a picture of you eating a steak, hamburger, bratwurst, something cattle based and, and throw that up on social media and hashtag it meat in day. So we've got our steaks sitting out. We will definitely be supporting that. We love the beef industry and everything that it has to do with. So that's where we're at here. Yeah. Hemp house is almost in operation. We've got a few volunteers rolling around. The big field has got volunteers and it's ready to go. So, yeah, we will continue to keep you updated. We will be at NOCO next week um, out in Colorado. It's a big hemp convention. And we'll talk to you then. Bye.